Hey guys, so we have new unboxing of stuff and plants. So I wasn't lying last year when I did my unboxing video and said that was it for the year because I didn't buy anything online plant related or plants at least and that video I think I uploaded in September so I lasted maybe a good three months without buying plants online but today I actually didn't get my well I have plants the plant I wanted to open first my alocasia that was supposed to come earlier than these two I'm guessing it's stuck in transit of course the expensive one in my rearranging my living room video I got a new macram and that only fits like two inch to three inch pots and I was like okay I need a small pot and a small plant to fit in there I went on Instagram and I looked up the hashtag small plants and there were so many that I loved and I've never heard of and I was like oh my gosh those are perfect but then small plants still stress me out because I'm like okay they're gonna get bigger and then I'm gonna have to repot them into a bigger pot hopefully for now these can fit in my small pots especially this one because I think this is maybe three inches so like i said i looked on instagram's hashtags for small plants i found a baby tears plant but it looks like a frosted version of baby tears i love my baby tears plants and then i found another peperomia that i loved and i found another it kind of looks like the wandering jew i think i'm sure it's in the same family like tradis tradiscantia so i got three of those plants from hertz gardens all made sure all of them were really small so I can put them in my small pots because after this I think I'm just gonna stick to buying normal size pots oh so cute I can already see this is the peperomia so this one I actually got because of a YouTube video, but her videos are very dangerous for me because she chooses a plant family like Peperomia, Calatheas, and then she'll show like almost all plants in that family. So I was watching the Peperomia one and I love my Peperomias and I found this one. All of these were pretty cheap. He's so tiny. I think what attracted me to him was his really dark brown leaves around the green. But this doesn't really look like what I was thinking. And it does look very chocolatey brown, like a mint chocolate. So I'll put a picture of here of what it looks like, or at least the pictures that I saw on Google or Instagram. I don't know, the pictures just looked more like eye-catching, but this kind of looks simple. I mean, I'll work with him. I think I'll give him maybe like a 5 out of 10 when I looked at his pictures on Instagram. It was more like of an 8 out of 10 that I really liked him, but this isn't what I pictured it to look like. So that is him right there. Maybe I'll just name him Mint Chocolate Chip. <laughs> okay, next. We have, ooh, this is, oh, the baby tears on, oh, <laughs> so much came out. <gasps> my baby tears is one of my favorite plants. And he's one of my easiest plants. So I thought this like silver version of him would be just as good. No. He's who I wanted to put in my really small macram hanger. I can see it. I can kind of see like the shininess. Oh, I got some dirt in my eye. So that is what he looks like. Baby tears. I remember there's like a biblical name to him. You can see his stems, or at least his stems that I saw in pictures were like almost red. I can kind of see the brownish red. Okay, so this is my baby tears. And then that is that guy. So you can see he's kind of lighter. I feel like if you see him in the sun, you could probably see the like silveriness. I don't know if it seems like he's more fragile just because he's smaller, but I don't know why he just feels more fragile to me compared to my baby tears. Like just feeling the leaves, I can feel like he's stronger. Okay, now we have the last one. I have a feeling this isn't gonna look as pink as it's supposed to. So tiny. So this is the guy I want to put in my small pink pot. Is he pink? Oh, pink jewel, Calicia repens, variegated. So you could see there's some, ooh, that one's really cute, pink in there. He looks like a baby version of the Wandering Jew. He's so tiny and cute. That is him up close. 
like I mentioned in my rearranging my living room that I'm really loving getting small plants not because I like small plants because it's so fun watching them grow especially as you can see with my alocasias I can obviously buy them big and grown up but it was so fun watching my silver dragon grow that I wanted to get small baby plants of alocasias okay that is it from Hertz Gardens next it's another macram this macram is from the same Etsy that I got my first macram my burgundy one that's still my favorite it's so pretty and I needed one thick enough, oh sorry, I needed a macram thick enough to cover, to cover this. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, the thing that pulls the blinds. So like my hanging plants look so pretty and then I have that like stick. And I wanted to get a macram thick enough to cover that so I got this. So that is the color. Ooh. Oh, that's perfect. So this is it. So I'm going to put this in here. I know it's super tiny. I wish it was a little bit thicker to cover that white rod, but I know this fits like four to six inch plants. Okay, so that is all my plant stuff for today. I'll be back tomorrow or maybe in two days whenever my alocasia comes. But I wanted to open this up too. When I went to grab my plants in the mail, I saw this. It's from Russia and it's to my boyfriend. And I was like, what are you buying from Russia? I was reading the description and I was like, oh yeah, because he bought like a Christmas ornament for our first tree we've ever had. And he was like, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get it in time. It's coming from Russia. It's a little baby Santa hat topper for the tree. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, well, we, we'll save this for next year. So we're definitely going to have to get another Christmas tree next year. <laughs> okay, guys, I will see you tomorrow. It's super gloomy outside. When I went to grab the mail, there was water falling from the sky. I know, right? Weird. Hey, guys, so I'm just going to wear the same outfit in my unboxing video. So we can just pretend that this is one straight video because I'm not going to buy like 10 things in one day. Anyways, it is the next day and I got my dragon scale alocasia. I thought this would be my last alocasia because I have four and they're all perfect until I found another one I liked. But I think I might hold off on that one for a while. Like I, I'm pretty satisfied with these four alocasias. So as I learned from my first alocasia, my silver dragon, who had spider mites and just gave them to everyone, I'm going to isolate this guy because spider mites just love my alocasias and my calatheas. Still moist, nice. Ooh, that's so pretty. That sucks, this guy's yellowing. I know he's gonna die off, but this guy, look at him. Ooh, there's a new leaf. He's gonna unfurl. I'm gonna put him under the grow light so he gets nice and big. I'm just gonna isolate him for a couple of days because I don't know what these guys, they might have spider mites secretly in their soil. I don't know, he looks pretty fine compared to my silver dragon, but I can't wait till he grows big. I think he's super pretty. pretty late right now, but I totally forgot that my Monstera Silta Picana, Silta Pican, Pecan Picana was in the mail. So obviously I'm gonna need to open her up because I don't want her sitting in this box any longer. I'm hoping she made it through well because out of all the plants I ordered online, she has been the one that took the longest. And honestly, like she didn't look like extremely healthy from the picture. She just looked like she got propagated and then put in soil. I also found this because I looked at the hashtag small houseplants and this also popped up. And I was kind of shocked to see that this was a Monstera. I was like, really? Because of course, when you think of Monsteras, you have that typical like jungle looking Monstera. But when I saw this, this looked more like an alocasia, which I love. Okay. 
super cute. Definitely needs some love. She has been through a lot, I'm guessing, in this box because she looks a bit crumpled up. She looks like a mix of like an alocasia and a pothos. Like if an alocasia and like a golden pothos had a baby because I am not getting like any monstera vibes. Like it has the typical like easy houseplant leaves looking leaves but then again it has that dragon looking like alocasia leaves. I will keep you updated on this girl and see how well she does in the upcoming weeks. So next thing I got was from Etsy. It's a face pot face planter and I wanted to get it for my Oxalis triangularis because I wanted to look like it was his hair and I just think it's the cutest face pot ever. Oh, love packing peanuts. <laughs> I had no idea they were mother-daughter duo. That's cool. Okay, so look how cute that planner is. Just imagine all the triangularis sprouting out of his head. It also comes with a drainage tray. See, it's handmade. It's nice and heavy. Yeah, I feel like that would be perfect. But that is what she looks like. Seriously, one of the cutest planters. So this is going to be the last of my unboxing and these are plant markers from my alocasias. So since I only had one alocasia which was my silver dragon, my boyfriend named him Drogon. And then once I got my other alocasias, I was like crap, they're all like dragons. Because I also got dragon scale, now I'm like they're all dragons so I can't just keep the name Drogon to one alocasia if that makes sense. So I was like, okay, what am I going to name them because now I have four alocasias. So I was like, okay, silver dragon, silver dragon, and then I was like, oh, Slytherin. My mind kind of got there with the silver dragon and I was like, oh my gosh, I should just name the four of my alocasias a different Harry Potter house. And I was like, okay, that is perfect. So my silver dragon is obviously with Slytherin but I still don't know who belongs to what house. I have my Alocasia Maharani and then my Alocasia Black Velvet. I feel like she's gonna be more Hufflepuff because she seems like the quietest, nicest, sweet one out of all my Alocasias. Yet she caused me so much stress this morning because I found a spider mite on her. If you've watched some of my other videos, you'll know how much I hate spider mites on my alocasias. Like they just, they love to eat them up. But what's crazy is because I was bitching about this guy who always has spider mites. I swear, I truly believe that he is done with spider mites and that is because of this Captain Jack's dead bug. I stopped using neem oil on him. I feel like neem oil didn't really scare the spider mites away. It's kind of like they grew stronger the more neem oil I sprayed on him so I switched to Captain Jack's and I have found zero spider mites on this guy. Knock on wood, hopefully they don't come back. And the thing is what I noticed with spider mites and them coming back you have to do it every time you water because when the spider mites are fully gone from my alocasias, I'm like, okay, that's done. I don't need to spray neem oil anymore or Captain Jack's. But when I don't do that, when I don't do that weekly spray, like a spider mite pops up. So even if you think you're in the clear and that you're done with spider mites, one will always pop up. So just spray them every single week when you water them with neem oil or the Captain Jack's because where did she go? No, oh, she's right here because I she just broke my heart. I was like, oh my gosh, I love you so much. And you're like the gentle, kind alocasia. And then she had a spider mite. So yeah, like I said, I got everyone a house. Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw. And I don't know who... I'm still guessing everyone's vibe. I'm still feeling out all my, all my alocasia's vibes. And this is from Etsy. These are actually custom made. That sounds so fancy, but she does plant markers, but they're plant markers for like in the soil when you're gardening, like onions, lettuce, so they're big, like plant markers like that. And I asked her, is there any way you could make smaller ones? And she did. So they are custom made, so I'm kind of scared. Like I hope that they work. Thank you, Sasha, for supporting our work. Hope you love the markers as much as I loved making them. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. There's a little 
cute hedgehog. There's some chocolate. I can't eat that. It's milk chocolate, but oh my gosh, that's so sweet. I have never, have you seen peanuts like this? Oh my gosh, they're shaped like hearts and stars. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest packaging and cutest peanuts. Okay. Hot flash pottery. got Ravenclaw. We got Hufflepuff. Oh my gosh, these make me so happy. These would be so pretty if you had a garden. We have Gryffindor and Slytherin. How freaking cute. That's so amazing that she customized these. We have Slytherin. This is going to go with my silver dragon. This is the new leaf that he gave me. Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll put him here. Like somewhere there. I'm going to put the rest of these when I repot my starter plants into bigger ones because I feel like these might be a little bit too small. Does she look like a Hufflepuff? Or a Gryffindor? Gryffindor? Uh, no, she seems like such a Hufflepuff to me. Hufflepuff and I feel like my Maharani should be Ravenclaw that fits yeah dragon scale I feel like since dragon scale is also very like mm, intense like Slytherin that he probably should go with Gryffindor yeah see that looks like a good like er, like masculine look to him so I feel like that's oh my gosh I'm I didn't know I would be so happy over these but these are freaking awesome so i think these are just the coolest plant markers okay hey guys i was gonna say hope you guys enjoyed the video but i wanted to show you everyone that i showed in this video so remember i just got this guy and that's his new leaf so he had i think i was talking about when i opened him that he had a yellow leaf so yeah he had that yellow leaf i cut him off and all he had was this guy and this guy and this guy is the one that grew my maharani grew this new leaf. I have no idea why his stems are so long. See, this is like the normal stem, like that. That. Yeah, I have no idea why these are so long. I feel like eventually it's going to be like my silver dragon where all his old leaves died off and they're all huge. So I feel like eventually these guys will die off and then he'll just sprout bigger leaves. Let me grab the other plants I opened with you guys. So remember, of course you saw it like two minutes ago, but for me that was a few weeks ago. I actually took out my Monstera Silted Pecana, Sil Silted Pecan, and the roots were not rooted at all. It just looked like she took some cuttings, placed it in soil. I wish she said that because why would you put it in soil if it's not rooted? Usually when plants are set in soil, they're already rooted, but if they're just cuttings, they're sent as cuttings. So I just put him in some water. And he's growing it. He grew out this new leaf just yesterday. You can see like where the dirt ends. That's where its roots were when I bought him. But in the past, I think it was two weeks ago, like you can see the new fresh white roots. My baby tears, I think he grew. My peperomia, I don't think much has changed in the past, I don't know, month and a half. And my tradescanthia is growing pretty well i think she grew a little taller so yeah everyone's doing well oh and i got this baby yoda it's not part of the unboxing i got him during christmas this little coaster for either like my cuttings i actually got him for this pot because i wanted to put another carnivorous plant in him but he's actually been holding up my cuttings so it doesn't fall over i mean look how cute he is okay i feel like i'm just showing you everything around me <laughs> one day <laughs> One day I will be able to group my allocations together without everyone spreading their STDs among each other. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.